Okay, so that brings us to what do I expect the future to hold? Okay, we have weather events. We have floods, earthquakes, and fires usually come in September here. We'll probably have a whole bunch of fires. Okay, so what might possibly happen? Well, uh, one thing that could happen is um, there could be a mass loss of property or there could be um, a plummeting of value of the real estate. I mean, I would expect that. Uh, do you wanna live in a earthquake prone place? Do you wanna buy some flooded property? Do you wanna, you know, sink your life savings into uh, a fire trap so i would expect um the property value to fall also you know the crops have not been uh, planted that's about 20 percent of the crops are not planted and that is wheat corn and soy and also a lot of um floods have happened i think it's in northern california anyway there's a great country up there that was pounded with uh, rock rain. So we could have a mass foreclosure. So we could be thrown into some kind, if we're lucky, some kind of recession that we can dig our way out of. Okay, and then if, if you know, you watch, um, what is this called? Uh, conspiracy theorists okay I watch them uh, at night late into the wee hours of the night and what they say is they're trying to move us to a one world government that is a diabolical plot to take over the world okay so in these areas these flooded areas these earthquake areas these foreign investors could come in and gobble up our land cheap. That'd be bad. Okay, the ice crushers could access the oil. You know, they say, well, they're trying to melt the, they're trying to melt the ice and they're trying to crush through to get through to the uh, oil. That's possible. Uh, we have an underground railway that would make foreign travel to this country very easy. So basically, you know, there isn't going to be any borders. Uh, you know this border stuff? That's a bunch of crap. There's not going to be any borders. We're going to be invaded from every border. We're going to be invaded from uh, underground, from, uh, from China, from Russia. So what would that mean, you know? Okay, who do you think is going to pay for this? Well, where does the government get the money? Uh, outer space? No, from the taxpayers. So I would expect an increase in taxes. Another thing is, don't forget, poor people pay sales tax on everything. Right now, here in town, we're paying nine cents on the dollar. Increase in cost of living. Uh, you know, I, I think the most important thing is secure your vehicle and secure your dwelling, whatever that might be. Make sure that whoever you're renting from can be trusted. Unlike some people I used to rent from. So I would, uh, the cost of living would go up. Uh, and then the last thing, just real quick, I would expect is a mass pulling of cash out of the banks. You know, when things start getting very, very crappy, I could see that, and that is not not good if that should happen. Um, if you go to your local bank and uh, you ask them to withdraw uh, three to five thousand dollars, oh, they make a big deal out of that. Well, why do you want the money? I mean, whose money is it? So you want to. If, if you do want to pull your money out, I would suggest pulling it out little by little and, and you know, securing your money. You're going to need uh, food, water, gas, cash, and a weapon. Okay, you guys, God bless you all.